Welcome to our informative video where we'll be diving into a comparison between two essential tools in the field, the CNC spindle and the router. Both are versatile and widely used, but they have their unique features and applications. In this video, we are going to discuss the differences and similarities between these two powerful tools. Let's get started. Before we delve into the comparison, let's start with a brief introduction to the CNC splindle and the router. The CNC splindle is a motorized tool that rotates the cutting tool or the workpiece in a CNC machine. It is commonly used for precision cutting, milling, drilling and engraving tasks. On the other hand, the router is a handheld or table-mounted power tool used primarily in woodworks. It spins a cutting bit to shape, hollow out or create integrate designs on various materials. One of the primary factors to consider when comparing a CNC splindle and a router is the speed and power. CNC splindles are designed to operate at high speeds, typically ranging from 8000 to 30,000 RPM. This high rotational speed allows for precise and efficient cutting of various materials, including metals and plastics. In contrast, routers generally have a lower maximum speed, typically ranging from 20,000 to 25,000 RPM. However, routers make up for their low speed with higher torque, which is essential for tasks that require more cutting force, such as routing through dense wood or tougher materials. Precision and accuracy are vital considerations in any machining or woodworking tasks. CNC splindle excel in this aspect, offering exceptional precision due to their design and the use of computerized controls. The TNC machines can be programmed with integrate designs and specifications ensuring consistent and accurate results. This level of precision is particularly crucial in industries like aerospace and automotive where tight tolerance are required. Routers, while not as precise as CNC splindles, still offer a high degree of accuracy and are more suitable for projects that require freehand routing or less stringent tolerances. Another significant aspect of the comparison is the versatility and application of the CNC splindle and the router. CNC splindle are commonly used in industrial settings and are ideal for large-scale production runs where precise and repetitive cutting tasks are required. They are suitable for a wide range of materials and applications such as cutting complex shapes, creating molds, and producing integrate parts. On the other hand, routers are highly versatile tools commonly used in woodworking, cabinetry, and making signs. They can handle a variety of cutting tasks, including shaping edges, creating decorative patterns, and even engraving designs. Cost and accessibility are essential factors to consider when choosing between a CNC splindle and the router. CNC splindles, being sophisticated and designed for industrial applications, are generally more expensive than routers. They require a dedicated CNC machine which further adds to the cost. Additionally, the operation and maintenance of CNC machines often involve training and specialized knowledge. In contrast, routers are more affordable and widely accessible. They come in various sizes and configurations from handheld models, from small projects to table-mounted routers for more substantial tasks. Routers are relatively easier to operate and require less specialized knowledge. As we wrap up this comparison between the CNC splindle and the router, it's important to consider your specific needs and requirements. If you are engaged in large-scale production, require high precision and accuracy, and have a budget for an industrial-grade machine, a CNC splindle might be the ideal choice. However, if you primarily work on woodworking projects, require versatility, and want a more accessible tool, a router would be a suitable option. Ultimately, both tools have their strengths and applications, and the decision depends on the specific demands of your projects. We hope this video has provided valuable insights into the features and differences of these two powerful tools. As always, feel free to leave any comments and questions below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.